Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new Shudder horror film, The Cellar. And this is from writer-director Brandon Muldowney and focuses on a woman, Kira Woods, whose family moves into this creepy house because, you know, creepy houses. And all of a sudden, her daughter disappears, going down the cellar with ten steps. But apparently there's more. And... In the search for her daughter, she un she reveals this crazy conspiracy full of math. Tons of math. And what went into building this house. And some kind of conduit to summon some kind of creature. So, you know, math. Evil, apparently. And this film, you know, builds up some solid tension that uh, Muldowney creates throughout the film. There's an interesting setup with this whole cellar thing and, you know, all the math and stuff like that. It does get clunky in the way it's executed, but it's like it has some potentially interesting ideas. The music is really well composed and creepy and eerie. It just mixed terribly because the music is so loud. And you have very iffy effects and, like, the whole third act of this movie really leans into some effects. And you can tell that they're not the best. They don't look great. Um, but you do have really great creature design as you get towards, like, actually seeing this entity that we're dealing with in this film, and it's creepy, it's unnerving, it's well put together. It does deal with some really dumb, really tired horror movie tropes. Let's go to a college. There's an expert there, right, who's going to tell us all we need to know about this particular subject, and we move along. And that's exactly what this film does. It leans into other cliches of horror movies. And you have right at the front Alicia Cuthbert, who is the lead here from The Girl Next Door, interesting enough. I don't think she's the strongest lead here. Her character isn't very interesting. She winds up feeling a lot of guilt because she kind of pressures her daughter into going into the basement over the phone in the first place. And causes her daughter to get caught up in this and I feel like Cuthbert isn't the strongest of actresses to really like sell the emotional weight of this film but you know she does a fine job and the rest of the cast do their jobs it's not the strongest acted horror film that I've seen and you also have an ending that is that kind of like modern horror ending that's just like frustrating because you're just like seriously is it going there but in general, there's some tension, there's some good setup, there's some good ideas, there's some good design, some well-composed mu music, but because of tropes and iffy acting and bad CGI, it really all comes together to be a pr rather forgettable experience when it comes to check checking out a horror film. But those are my thoughts on The Cellar. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.